Hello everyone, welcome back. It's currently raining outside, so I'm going to do a Ryder Cup update. This is my betting predictions, wildcard prediction, because as I'm making this video, the US haven't announced their last wildcard yet, and I'm going to do kind of top point scorers, lowest point scorers for each team, and an overall prediction, so let's get into it. Right, so first things first, who are the US going to pick as their remaining wildcard? It's between two people, I believe. There's Tony Finau and the most ridiculous name in the world of golf, Xander Shoffley. I'm going to call him the X-Man. Currently, bookies have Tony Finau, the favourite. I think he's 1-7 to seven to be the remaining pick. But this guy, Xander Shoffley, is currently in the lead of the current FedEx Cup tournament. I think he's two in front, so I've got a sneaky feeling that if this guy wins, He's going to be the last person in this team. But as it currently stands, Tony Finau. But as a sneaky bet, what you could go for before the Ryder Cup is Xander Schauffele to make it into the Ryder Cup team. Right, now we've got that out of the way, let's get down to the serious stuff. So, European top point scorer, I'm going to go for this man here. Tommy Fleetwood. One of the best golfers in the world over the last year, one of the most consistent, one of the best ball strikers, and he's won the Open de France on Le Golf National before, so he is my favourite European top point scorer. Now, these odds are for the individual point scorer, so it's both teams combined. It'll be a little bit shorter if you want him top European, but he's my favourite. Now, let's talk about who I think is going to get the least amount of points for Team Europe. Unfortunately, it's going to be my boy, Sergio. Not being in the greatest of form this season. The bookies seem to think that Thorbjorn Olesen is going to get less than Garcia. That is definitely another possibility, because I can't see Olesen getting as much game time as Sergio, depending on form. But Sergio is my first lowest point scorer, because of how poorly he's been playing. And my second one is Olesen. Fleetwood at 16 to 1 for top point scorer though is great odds. Next we've got to look at these idiots. So top point scorer for the US team, I'm gonna go for this man, Brooks Kepka. Two-time major champion this year in the form of his life and one of the best players in the world, as like Tommy Fleetwood is. Uh, this guy's 10 to 1 overall. He's gonna be my American top point scorer. And my lowest American point scorer is going to be Webb Simpson. He has shown a bit of form this season. He won the Players' Championship back in May, I think it was. But as of recent, it's not been great. Although, as we're recording this, I think he's 700 in the FedEx Cup Tour event. So, I've noticed that with a few of these guys. That because the Ryder Cup is around the corner, they seem to just perk the game up a little bit. So, a few of the Europeans seem to be playing well this week. As do, unfortunately, a few of these. So, Webb Simpson is my low points scorer for the US team. Again, value-wise, I think Kepka 10 to 1. Overall, top point scorer is a good bet. It's not bad odds, really. Now, because I'm a European, this um, guess is going to be from my heart and not my head. So my pick is going to be Europe 15, 13 US. The reason I say this, I think if we are going to win, it's going to be extremely close. I think a lot of our fringe players are going to have to really step up in order to compete with these real big guys that are in the US team. Uh, an interesting fact was that seven out of the eight that qualified automatically for the US team are major champions. The only one who's not is Ricky Fowler and he's not bad. So that's why I'm a little bit worried. So this is my first prediction. Now if I'm to bet more with my head and not with my heart, I'm gonna go for Europe 12 and 16 to the US. The reason for this is because I'm slightly worried that these big guns are gonna come out firing, even though they're on away, the away patch, not on the family patch. Uh, I think these are gonna come out firing, they're gonna be all guns blazing early doors, we might get a little bit overawed by it all, but I think we've got enough bite to get you know, up there with the points wise, but I think they might just have a little bit too much in regards to firepower. Now, where is it going to be won? The reason why we were so successful for so many years is because we always won the foursomes, which is the alternate shot part. The Americans never seemed to gel. However, at the last Ryder Cup in the States at Hazeltine, this is where these guys were very good. At the alternate shot, they just had the edge on us. So for all them years between, you know, what, 95 up to 2016, we had the foursomes on lockdown. But these guys have just started to get the hang of it. So I think the Ryder Cup is going to swing on the foursomes. If we can play as we normally do, I think we've got a really good chance. If these guys are winning the foursomes, I think we're going to really struggle. 
Just some other notables to talk you through. I think McElroy's good odds at 12 to 1, top point scorer. Rose could be number one this weekend, depending on how results go in the States. Um, Poulter is a good shout at 16 to 1. Mr. Ryder Cup is absolutely fantastic. We've got DJ 9 to 1. He's the overall favourite to be top point scorer. My man Kepka there, who I think is going to be the top point scorer. Got the likes of Tiger, 12 to 1. What do we think to that? Leave a comment below. Blubber, can't stand him, 25 to 1. Hope we don't get a game until singles. And then we've got also the golf scientist Bryson at 16 to 1. So there you go, that was my Ryder Cup betting predictions and tips for the upcoming 2018 Ryder Cup. I can't wait for it to get started, it's about three weeks time now. Um, please leave a comment below, who do you think is going to do well out of all these guys, who's your money on? Let me know if you've got any outside bets that you think is worth having and I can share them with, uh, with my subscribers and, and other people who are interested. Please like this video if you've, if you've thought it were half decent. Uh, share it to your friends, let them know what I'm kind of going for in my bets for the Ryder Cup. If you've not subscribed already, could you please do so? And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, cheers. 12, 60. Hello, Hello. what's up?